I love solo travel. And one of the things I've gotten really into since moving to Europe is this whole idea of traveling with only one bag because there are a lot of cheap flights in Europe. You can go to Portugal for 12 pounds, Italy for eight pounds, even Stockholm from London for one pound return. But the only way to actually get them for these prices without any extra costs is if you travel with just your carry-on, which maxes out what you're allowed to bring. This is where the Osprey 4.40 comes in. This is one of the most popular backpacks in the one bag travel space, and for good reason. I'm LaShawn and I'm a Bright Trip contributor and in this review we're going to dive into all the features of this backpack, do a test pack to see just how much we can pack into this thing and give you my thoughts on the pros and cons to help you see if this backpack is right for you. Let's go. The maximum carry-on dimensions for most airlines vary a little but come to around 55 centimeters length by 40 centimeters width by 23 centimeters depth. The Osprey 5.40 is a 40 liter backpack Hence the name, weighs 1.4 kilos with dimensions of 54 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 23 centimeters. So yeah, pretty much as big as you can go, but able to be worn as a backpack with hip belts and chest straps to help distribute the weight, which is super useful for climbing up cobblestone streets to your hostel. It comes in red, black, or gray. I picked red because it stands out and well, I like red. In two sizes, small to medium and medium to large, depending on the length of your torso. They actually have a neat little app that helps you figure out the right size. Overall, it looks and feels like a full-on 60 to 70 liter backpack with similar levels of build quality. The backpack straps zip away behind a flap whenever you need to put it into overhead storage. Two really sturdy handles on the top and side and tons of storage space as you'd expect. Two net pouches on the outside, this small compartment up the top, and then a giant primary compartment for all your clothes, plus a laundry zip pouch, and a secondary one with a laptop sleeve. As you can see, both compartments have lockable zips. There is tons of space. Everything about this bag is about maximizing space while still being comfortable traveling from A to B. I actually love using this backpack at home to cycle back my grocery haul since I can pack it till it's fit to bust and I can barely feel it thanks to the weight distribution. We are not going to little today though. What we're gonna do is a test pack for a three week solo Europe trip just to see how much we can pack into this thing. Test pack for all the trips I'll never be able to go on this year. All right, let's go. All right, first thing is to fill out the primary compartment. I normally find it's easiest to pack this if you pack it from like a top down as opposed to completely opening it up like this. So we're just gonna stuff it. First thing, day pack. This has traveled with me through 30 countries, 30 odd countries for the last seven years. Right at the bottom now, next. Resistance bands. Yes, I actually do travel with these. Push-up handles. Got travel towel. Thongs. In Australia, we call these thongs. I know they're flip-flop. The thongs to me. More beach wear. Pair of shorts. One shirt. So I'm packing everything that I would pack into the bag before I board the plane. And then there's also the stuff I'll wear on my person, which I'll explain at the end of this segment. So you can see it's starting to get like a little cold there, but there's still a lot of space. Five pairs of socks, five pairs of underwear, toiletries, toothbrush, tiny bit of toothpaste, razor. I don't bring shampoo or body wash or sunscreen. I normally buy it when I arrive. Probably like seven or eight earplugs. So I'm just gonna use the quite large sunglasses pouch. Put the sunglasses, oh yeah hand sanitizer because it's 2021. So that's most of the primary compartment filled up. Normally I would pack that camera that's filming me right now, but in its place, I'm gonna be using my old camera, which is a Canon 700D and a 10 to 22 millimeter lens. Nifty 50 with a Peak Design lens clip, GoPro. And depending on where you're going, umbrella. This is a windproof umbrella. Stuff it to the side. On the other side, tripod. That's pretty much everything in the primary compartment. Now, the laptop sleeve. Got my 13 inch laptop, SSD, storage, cable, and also into the laptop sleeve. Got my journal, extendable pen. 
Don't you love this? That my pocket really actually. One thing I really like about the interior of this backpack is just everything is fluoro green, which makes it basically impossible, unless if you're into fluoro green, I don't know why you would be. But if you aren't, it's impossible to lose your stuff inside the bag because everything stands out, especially if you have a lot of black equipment like I do. Battery pack and cable, chargers, universal charger, laptop charger. This is the entirety of my laptop charger. If you have a recent laptop from the past couple of years which has USB type C charging, I highly recommend you look into getting one of these really compact chargers. It's a 60 watt GAN fast wall charger and it's so small. It saves tons of space. Batteries for my cameras, USB cables, field notes journal, which I have to put in my pocket, and also my point and shoot camera, which is a Sony RX100. And the case for it. Flipping it up. Done. Too easy. What I wear on my person is shoes, two layers of shirts, maybe my red jacket. Headphones, wallet, my mask, and that's it. Oh wait, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, oh yeah, right. My passport. Oh, heavy. It is heavy though. <laughs> hmm. And now we are all good to go to Heathrow. So my thoughts after doing that test pack, I love how much space there is. I tried one bag in Portugal for three weeks on my 30 liter backpack and it was literally fit to bust. But with this, I am not worried about it at all. Like look at these zips. Do you see any tension on these zips? Because I don't. This is mostly due to the primary compartment. There's so much space in there, I could literally fit my entire tripod into it. It is super comfortable. There's padding everywhere on the handles on the back to the shoulder straps on the hip belt the laptop pouch the back support is super sturdy all the straps are adjustable so you can find the right fit the lockable zips are a great feature for the added security the weight feels really well balanced it feels super well built and durable from the materials to stitching like i could carry it around for years and years and years and it could withstand a ton of punishment one thing which I don't really understand about this backpack is why the laptop pouch is on the outer side of the backpack instead of being closer to your back. Why is it here? One second. This is my skateboarding backpack. Here is the main compartment and here is the laptop pouch closer to my back. And here is the 30 liter backpack I took to Portugal. Here is the main compartment and here is a laptop pouch closer to my back. Why is this here? Where is the logic in this? That said, <laughs> the reason why that's a problem is that when the primary compartment is packed, it's difficult to put your laptop in there without there being any unwanted pressure on your laptop. And there isn't much extra space for anything else in there that isn't flat and also while there is some padding for the laptop it's also more exposed here to bumps while walking around depending on how you travel or if you bring a laptop or not this may not be an issue for you also these mesh pockets on the front can't really hold much at all once the bag is full and would have been way more useful on the sides you can stuff a small plastic water bottle in there and it works okay but i wouldn't really put anything more than that the Osprey 4.40 is the ultimate one bag travel backpack to get you from point A to B. Perfect for transit, could be used for hiking, but not ideal while exploring a city or location. You take it to your accommodation, pack what you need into your day pack and away you go. But that's the beauty of it. Everything you need is in the backpack and it pays itself off easily in the amount of money saved off check-in luggage on airfares and the time saved waiting to pick up those bags at the carousel every single time. If you bring a laptop with you while traveling, the placement of the laptop sleeve is a compromise, but I think all the other benefits of the backpack make it worth it. I am a fan of this bag. It manages to carry everything I need, including bulky camera gear, while still being super comfortable and functional. If you're a traveler who's looking to make the leap into one bag travel and ditching the check-in, I think this bag 
is the way to go. If you're interested in more travel content, be sure to check out our courses on Bright Trip, where you can learn everything you need to know before you head on your next adventure, from learning how to solo travel to the ins and outs of cameras and photography, and even a free course on packing cubes. How generous of us. This was a bit of a new one for us on Bright Trip, so leave a like if you enjoyed and let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more travel gear reviews in the future. Make sure you hit subscribe for more awesome travel videos here on Bright Trip and I'll see you in the next one. Au revoir.